We have to talk about this TikTok mom. I was reading the news and I came across this article about this little boy that was wrapped in saran wrap and posted on TikTok. And when you hear that, you immediately think it's like the worst of the worst. Cause you know, like in the past, there's been situations where people have actually filmed and recorded themselves doing horrible things to people or they've live streamed it on TikTok and Facebook. And unfortunately, before it's removed or taken down, like a lot of people see it. So when I first heard this, like I have to be careful with the words that I use here, but I thought that this was the situation with these parents that were purposefully like causing harm to their child and posting it before it was removed. But then upon further reading, I realized that these parents did this not realizing allegedly that there was anything wrong with it. So the context of the situation is these two parents wrapped their two-year-old son in saran wrap, thinking it was funny and posted it on their TikTok. So here's the deleted uh, TikTok. He's really like a baby baby, it seems like. Like really young. Very young. You you think, is maybe the kid's having fun? No, you can see the kid is very distraught. At Why are they doing that? Why are they doing this? So there's music playing that's supposed to make it funny. Here, you, and then they keep in this bit where the kid oh, is like crying God. out and what? suffering. So the woman is named Savannah Glimblin, and in the video, you can see her husband pushing her two-year-old son around on a bed while he's wrapped in cling wrap, and he's literally wrapped in it from the neck down. And they're just like pushing him around on the bed, and he's like falling on it. And in the video, he looks upset. They say it as if he, you know, was having a good time and that he was laughing, but I did not see any of that in this video. I don't think that this is funny under any circumstances. Now, the mom claimed that they were just playing around and she said it's just a funny thing that Hank her husband did because Gunner was getting into the stove that day and tried putting a fork in a socket obviously people reported it because why would you ever do something like that we need to talk about this incredibly polarizing story around Hank and Savannah Glembin they're an influencer couple over on TikTok and they had their son taken away by child protective services because of something they posted right and while the original video has been taken down there are so many stitches and reactions to this that we can still see it with one of the stitches that got the most attention being from a user by the name of Aunt Karen Zero, who even says this feels like abuse. Right, so we see this young boy wrapped in saran wrap. He is falling. He seems very distressed. The text on the screen saying that he was a, a grumpy toddler. When you look at the top comments on the video, you have people calling the parents out, saying someone needs to call CPS. And thanks to a video later posted by Savannah, we know that someone actually did. When I first saw this, like I felt sick to my stomach seeing this little boy wrapped in saran wrap. There was absolutely nothing about this to me that was funny. Number one, he literally could have been suffocated. Like whether they meant to do it or not, I don't know like what would ever possess somebody to do something like this. So your idea of creating some sort of what you appear to think was a funny punishment for trying to get in the stove and putting a fork in a socket, you put him in another dangerous situation by wrapping him up in saran wrap. And then she made this joke about how he um, looked like a cucumber. Some of the comments from people on this video were, I don't understand how putting your toddler in an uncomfortable position is funny and then posting it for views. Not only did you not just do this for your own entertainment, you thought that this was going to be everybody else's entertainment. So obviously this TikTok was incredibly disturbing and people reported it thankfully because he could have been in serious danger. In my personal opinion, he was to begin with because you could literally constrict his breathing by wrapping him up like this. And I feel like anybody who has a, a child should know that and maybe don't do this stupid stuff. Also, you're teaching him that this is funny. That's what you're doing. You're teaching him that he could do this. What if he went and did this to an animal because you guys taught him how to do this? Or what if he goes and does this to a smaller child as he gets older? Like the, the, everything about the situation is wrong and not the tiniest bit of it is funny. She later will play her response to all this, but she said that they did this because he was like acting out all day and getting in, like trying to get into the oven or something. So they wrapped him in saran wrap. You should never teach your child that right. plastic or saran wrap is any type of a toy right. or something to goof around with because 
they get that out on their own you don't know and like that could be a suffocation yeah. very quickly after the video got reported cps showed up and took his son away so then he experiences further trauma being removed from his parents and put in a scary situation with people he doesn't know in an environment that can be really traumatic and all of it could have been avoided had his parents not done what they did like they not only put him in a dangerous position by doing this to him to begin with but then he was removed from his his parents and his home and his comfort because of it and it's all because of his parents. So then his mom goes and posts a TikTok. In this TikTok, she says he was only in the plastic for less than five minutes and at no point was upset. I don't even know um, how I'm gonna start this. Right now, we're dealing with a situation where a gunner has been taken from us until CPS can evaluate our home. I posted a video of my husband and son playing. The video was strewed in a way as to people thinking that we were abusing our child. One gunner was like laughing and smiling and it was just a funny thing that Hank did um, because gunner was getting into like the stove that day and like tried putting a fork in a socket and um, like Hank like playfully wrapped him in cling wrap. He ha had room to move. Like he looked like a little worm, like a little cucumber. He was at no point in distress or crying or anything like that. You're justifying wrapping him up in saran wrap because it was less than five minutes. And I'm sorry, he didn't look happy in this video. He didn't. The way that she's saying that it's just a funny thing that her husband did, that's not funny. I still think that it's concerning that this was something that they did. Like, what else do you do to your son when he does something he shouldn't be doing? That's my question. Because if this is what you filmed and posted on TikTok, also you can tell from this, he did not have room to move. You can tell he didn't have room. His legs were stuck together. His arms were pushed at his sides. This kid could not move. And then she says at no point was he in distress or crying or anything like that. How do you think you would feel if you got wrapped in cling wrap? Would you be in distress if somebody did that to you? I don't think that anybody would find this comfortable under any circumstances. I think basically anybody who got wrapped up like this would find this stressful like we would never hurt our our son like we would never hurt our our child he's um the best thing that has like ever happened to us and like uh yesterday so like i posted that video like two days ago and like the response that it gotten was positive so like i didn't even know like that somebody had thought it it was bad until yesterday when a cop showed up at our door and separate separated us as a family she goes on to say that the comments were positive and she didn't even know that anybody was upset about it i think that that's another thing that's really concerning is that they did this to this child and thought it was funny but also thought that other people would think that it was funny as well so she ended up posting another TikTok where she showed that her son was returned to them I'm a mom of a son and he's almost 10 months old. And I just wanna say that I know there's tons of different types of parents out there and everybody makes mistakes, but I feel like this is a pretty big mistake. And she did say she feels dumb, um, so there is that. But I just feel like I can't imagine ever doing this to my child, ever. And if I ever saw anything like this, like being done to my child, I whoever did it, would need to run away from me. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, listening to her, you know, from a mom's point of view, talking about how he's the love of her life, how she had four miscarriages and all this, that, and the other, and he's so loved and wanted. All I can say is that my son so loved and cherished, and he's my miracle baby. Like, he's my, was my fourth pregnancy after three miscarriages, and he's the light of my life. And I am, um, like some people are, are 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 taking this video out of context and like not even knowing Hank Ryan. I make zero money off of my off of my social media. My my TikTok is not monetized like at all. I don't make any money off of my kid. I just post little vlogs sometimes and like little pieces of like our life together. 
And um, I just feel really helpless in this situation. I feel so dumb for posting, for posting that and like thinking it was just like a cute family video and then it turning into this. It's, I know that people are gonna are gonna hate me or like just like have opinions on this and like I understand. I absolutely understand that. I just want people to know that like. I, I love that little boy more than anything in the whole world and I would never hurt him, never ever, and neither would my husband. We made a mistake and we don't deserve to get our child taken away because of it. As a mom, you know, I hear that and I definitely feel for her in that, but you can't go around doing something like this to your kid. I really hope that this is a lesson learned for them, but also the fact that she posted a TikTok of her hugging him, like after he got returned, it just doesn't ring well to me. Like you just got him back The Like if something like this happened, which let's, let's be real, I would never do something like this to my son. But if I was ever in a situation like this and CPS took my child away, I can assure Assure you that whenever I got him back the last thing that I would think to do would be to go set up my phone somewhere outside and hold him and film myself holding him to then go post on TikTok to anybody any stranger any person what I'm trying to say is is I'm not understanding the situation here and why this is what she chose to do with her time like you just got your son back go be with your son I just I have just like Social media is so toxic. Like, it just have the special moments with your family. Like, you don't have to like film and record every little thing. And that's a whole other issue. I feel like TikTok parents are going way too far. The links that they're going to, to make people laugh or to create what they deem as entertaining for random strangers on the internet at the expense of their children, I have a problem with it. And I'm always gonna have a problem with it. You are creating content out of a human being that doesn't get to consent to you creating content out of them. People are doing crazier and crazier things for shock value and to get content out of that will get views. And this is just one of those situations where I guarantee you she was like, oh, people will watch this. And this is what happens when you make dumb decisions like that at the expense of your child. He got taken away and experienced trauma from probably not only being wrapped up like that to begin with, but then being taken by a bunch of strangers he didn't know. This situation is so awful. You guys are gonna have to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think in the comments. And I will definitely be seeing you guys soon for another video.